spill red wine on this. I'm crying into that red wine. This bag, even at the price it is now, is a really usable, good, everyday, throw on this bag. really hasn't been giving me enough annoyance as that. there welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today I am going to share with you my updated entire Louis Vuitton handbag collection and when I was pulling the bags out to do this I was actually really surprised I'm surprised at how much my Louis Vuitton handbag collection has changed over the last couple of years those bags that are no longer here that I never thought I would get rid of and those bags that are here that I never thought I would buy it's very different than it was and I found it really interesting when I pulled them all out to show you just what's actually here now I'm also going to share with you a few other pieces that I think are quite handbag like and probably fit better into the handbag collection than they would in with SLGs and some of them I think are quite special and I really just wanted to show you, the, show you them and share them with you today so I'm going to show you those as well. I'm not going to include small other goods in this. I have a very recent up-to-date small other goods collection video that I will link above. The vast majority of my small other goods are Louis Vuitton so if you are interested in seeing my whole collection from SLGs to handbags watch that video next and it'll give you the whole collection and show you all of my SLGs. I'm not going to include most of my jewellery or clothing or scarves because I don't really think that's what people are interested in whenever it comes to this type of video and I do think it would make it very very long but if you do want to see that let me know and I can make it but for today we will focus on the handbags and the fabulous bits that are sitting over here that I can't wait to show you but before we get into the Louis Vuitton collection hmm I am delighted to tell you that this part of today's video is sponsored by Ideal Diamonds and Jewellery. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I wear Ideal Diamonds all the time. I absolutely, genuinely love this company. This is one of my absolute favourite brands to collab with or to work with. I love the ethos behind their company. I love the way they run their company. I am a businesswoman. I love the way they go about running their business. I love, I just love the ethos of this brand and I love their product. I first got Ideal Diamonds, I think round about March time. And if you watch me here or follow me on Instagram, you will already know that I have hardly taken them off. I wear them all the time. I think their product is just stunning. What they are, they are a company that produces lab-grown diamonds. Their jewellery is 14 karat gold. They bring out pieces in both yellow gold, rose gold or white gold. I'm going through a real yellow gold phase at the minute, so mine will all be yellow gold. But whatever your preference is, it is there. It's 14 karat gold. Their jewellery is conflict-free. It is sustainable. It is lab-grown, so it is environmentally friendly. And what it also means by being lab-grown diamonds, even though they share the same, the exact same qualities of mined diamonds, they are both diamonds, you can achieve and purchase for yourself a diamond that has the same clarity, the same cut, the same size as a mined diamond, but for a much more accessible price point. And for me, I think that's fabulous. I love wearing their jewellery. I love that it's conflict-free. I love that it's sustainable. I love their ethos. I love how they go about making it. And I also love how versatile their pieces are. I'm going to show you the new pieces that I have on today. There is also a cuff of theirs called Lucia that I had to take off to put these in to show you this because I live in that. I absolutely love it. What I'm wearing today though, and I can tell you, I remember exactly where I was when I got the email from one of the ladies behind the brand. And as I say, they are fabulous to work with. I got the email saying, we've got some new pieces. Do you want to take a look? <laughs> My reaction to my professional colleagues was be right back I've got something important to do and I jumped straight on the website and the first thing that I was so excited to see is this now I just think this is absolutely stunning I am someone who was never cool enough to have lots of piercings or tattoos or any of that even though I admired it from afar I was never cool enough to have it myself and when I've been watching or looking at jewellery recently I've really been drawn to a lot of the jewellery that's coming out whereby if you have a piercing at the top of your ear and a piercing at the bottom of your ear and then there's the chain that you can loop across them and I just think it looks great I love the look but I can't wear it because I don't have a top piercing but I deal have now brought out this piece so and I will show you some cut up or close-ups of these this this is a diamond cuff that sits around this part of my ear and then there is the chain 
that goes down below and attaches on to the stud that is in my ear. Now you can buy this by itself. You can buy an ideal stud to go with it or you can use one of your own. I like to mix match my diamonds whenever I'm wearing them. I just have taken to doing that recently. I, I like the vibe, I like the look. So I will generally have in my ear at any time one of the diamond studs that are from Ideal and one of my own and it just shows you how versatile and mix and match these pieces are and you can buy the pieces or the add-ons to make it exactly what is your look and I love that about it. So this stud is actually one of my own. I have put the chain in behind it and you can see the chain here coming onto my ear and then this cuff here and I feel really cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of the cool kids. I just feel like I need to put my little jacket on and you know rocket but this this I'm loving as soon as I saw this I was like please let me try that I think it's fab there is also a two diamond layer cuff that's on its own without the chain and I really love that as well I probably went for this one because I wanted that look with the chain that I can't achieve without a top piercing but the other one is also equally stunning and I will leave a link in the description box to ideal so you can check these out for yourself I'll also leave a list of the pieces that I have chosen and because they're really nice people I will leave you my discount code in the description box. I will also put it across the screen. It is Amelia Rose 10 and that allows you to get 10% off your disc, off your diamonds or anything that you're picking from their site. I do use the discount, might as well have it and do use the link because it'll take you to show you the pieces that I have chosen. Oh, love this. So this is the first piece that I am wearing that's new from them today and the chain that comes with it and then the diamond stud that would be separate. The second one these are both from Ideal. So the stud in the middle is an Ideal stud and then it has this add-on around it that is like an eye and I just think it's fab. I, I This is a company I can't gush about enough. I love their product so I apologise if I'm going on, on a bit but I just think this is so, so and beautiful. And as I say, I have been wearing these diamonds since March so they are well tried and tested with me. They are standing the test of time. I also have on from them, you can see one of the pieces that I can show you is my Louis Vuitton collection. So this is a Louis Vuitton necklace. It's the Volt necklace here which I can tell you with this diamond in the middle of it was hugely, hugely more expensive than this ideal necklace above it with quite a number of beautiful diamonds across it. I love this one. The chain is also ideal. This is all from them. You can either buy this separately, you can put it on your chain, but just check it would fit through it if it's one of your own chains, but you can buy this as an add-on. It's just stunning. I can't say enough to you how stunning their jewellery is. I just absolutely love it. It comes really well packaged. It comes in these little boxes that are also sustainable and it comes with one of these pouches, which if you have been following me, you'll know I had one of these. I've taken it on holiday with me. I took it to the beach with me. I have used this to carry a lot of stuff on holiday. My son, I think, currently has colouring pencils in it. It's very, very useful. So if you do purchase any of their pieces, I would keep this because there's so much use that you you can use with it but absolutely stunning and we are coming up to Christmas time for anybody that is looking for any presents or thinking about buying anything for someone that is special in your life I really really recommend that you give their site a look and do click the link down below and have a look at ideal site and use a discount code because their products are stunning and I would struggle to see how anybody receiving these wouldn't be absolutely bowled over. You are getting a size of diamond, a cut. Look how shiny they are. They really, really shine. And you're at the cost of them versus if you were buying a mine diamond at that size, that clarity, that color is just so much more achievable. And I really can't say enough good things about this company. I absolutely adore them. I hope if you do get some of the pieces that you adore them as much as I do. So thank you to Ideal for continuing to work with me. Thank you for sponsoring this part of the video. Thank you for making this fabulous jewellery and I have a suggestion in case you're watching. Do you see this one? This this beautiful piece here. Do you think you could make a bit for your ear that goes you know right right down here that's diamond like that? I won't even take design credit but I would be all over that. I think it would be fab. Imagine that sitting right down your ear and into here. Honestly, my talents are lost. I will come and work with you as a jewellery designer and we'll have so much fun. Okay. <laughs> Now that we have gushed or I have gushed over my beautiful diamonds that I am wearing and make sure you use the discount code because you might as well have your 10% disco. Disco? You might as well have your 10% discount. But if we're going to a disco and somebody wants to invite me to come with my diamonds on and my Zimmerman dress, 
I am there. Anyway, let's get enough of that and let's get in to the Louis Vuitton collection. And yes, I've had quite a lot of caffeine today. That's how I get through the week. What will we start with? Let's start with these pieces that are particularly beautiful, I think, but not really handbags, but I'm gonna show you them anyway. And then whenever we do the handbags, I will show you them ranked from my worst to best, which is hard because I love Louis Vuitton. The first one that I have to show you is this trunk and you've maybe watched the video I have on this trunk. It's been hand painted. It's a handmade Louis Vuitton trunk. I keep jewelry in it. I bought little shapers from Amazon to put pieces together in it and I think they're really, really work really well with it. This is just a stunning piece. Yes, you're not going to wear this as a handbag, but I really wanted to show it to you again because it's that pretty. And it is the Louis Vuitton trunk that I bought for myself for my 40th birthday and had painted. I think they're fab. I would love an epi leather one for my little console table in my hall to put your keys in. My husband thinks I'm nuts, but I think it's beautiful. Next one that's definitely not a handbag, but I just wanted to show you because I love the print on it. It is the Elizabeth pencil case and it has the London print on it which was part of the Christmas collection from last year and I just think that's really really pretty sticking with the Christmas collections and I know these aren't bags they're small leather goods but a lot of us do use them as bags and do wear them cross body and do link them on to bags that I wanted to show you are two of my mini pochettes I also have a plain Damier a bean one which has stuff in it but I have the Paris collection this this whoo one of my favourite ever prints from Louis Vuitton. It is the Paris print from the Christmas edition 1920 maybe. And this was so hard to buy. I just absolutely love it. I wanted the passport cover, but that wasn't to be. I think it's fabulous. And then last year's, which was again the London one. And London obviously has a place in my heart. I work in London a bit and I liked to be there. And I just thought that I wanted to have both of those in my collection. And although they're tiny and they don't fit your phone, a lot of people will wear those as a bag. And I do have a video actually on the eight or nine ways to use and wear the mini pochette. So if you are interested in one, that is quite useful to show you all the different ways that it can be worn. Next, let's do the Nice Nano. Now, a lot of people do wear these as handbags. I use mine currently for my lip products and my lipsticks and I have a Samorga organizer in it, which I purchased for myself, not gifted. I just like it. This has, as I say, my lip products and this at the minute sits on my vanity desk here with my makeup in the Nice Mini, which I will show you and then all of the lip products in the Nice Nano and that's how I've been using it for quite a while now. I really like the look of it. I think it's really, really cute. And if you did want to buy one of the Nice products and you were buying one that you wanted to be able to use as a handbag. Now, I do have a video on this showing you the comparison between the Nice Mini and the Nice Nano as a handbag. I think the Nice Nano probably works the best because it sits neater and it works with a chain and it maybe I think just looks the cutest and the best as a crossbody although it certainly won't hold as much as the Nice Mini but you can definitely wear this as a handbag and I know some people use these as a catch-all in their bigger bags because they are so cute but it does give the option if you wanted to use it as a bag and convert it crossbody. Moving on then to the slightly bigger one, which is the Nice Mini. I love this. I think I've said that in about a million videos. This is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton pieces ever. One of my best Louis Vuitton purchases. It gets used, mine's destroyed. I do I do have a video comparing and contrasting the Nice Nano and the Nice Mini. And if you're interested in either, do check that out, but you will see the state of the Nice Mini of mine in that video. I am not very good at looking after it and cleaning it and taking everything out of it. I use this on a daily basis with my makeup. You can see it's not exactly well organized, but the Samorga organizer in the middle does keep everything kind of in place, keeps everything in it for me. I just take it out and use it as I need it. And this is how it sits on my desk. And it has done since the day that I bought it. One of my favorite pieces and the pieces that if were to disappear, I would buy this again in the morning because I think it is that good. Another one of my favorites and it is the Agenda GM. I can't remember if I showed this in the small leather goods or not. I love this, but I will say that this is only worth the money if you're a stationery lover and you're someone who actually writes things down. If you already use journals and notebooks, I think this is worth it. If you're someone who is very into technology and never actually writes things down, I don't know if this is worth the price of it for you, but for me, who is a stationary geek and loves to write things down, this is absolutely worth the money for me and another one of my favorite Louis Vuitton pieces. Now, let's get into the handbags. I don't really, I, I have not 
been able to put these in an order. I don't know what is in my worst to best and it's probably because my Louis Vuitton handbag collection has changed quite a bit over the last couple of years and it's now at a point where I love everything that's left. Everything that didn't really work for me or didn't get much use is gone and everything that's left I love. But anyway, let's get through this and let's go from my worst to best. The one we're gonna get out of the way first because you'll all know where it would be and it is the Louis Vuitton Neverfill. This bag is just, I love it, absolutely love it. It's the Neverfill in the GM size. Mine is an absolute workhorse. It was at work with me today. You can see there is everything in the kitchen sink in there. Laptops, everything go in there. It does get heavy, but I love it. I have mine with the deep pink, the Pavine, I think it's called, color on the inside. I do use the pouch that comes with this. There is a pouch that comes with these that I know a lot of people end up not using. I use mine for business receipts because I have to keep those separate from personal receipts and that's what I use mine for. And I just think if best would be this, but I'm gonna do it now out of order because it would be boring and you all know what the answer would be to my best bag but I love it, I just think it's fabulous. And I know that I've converted Deal to the GM, it's just a fabulous, fabulous bag. And I will be a Louis Vuitton, never full lover, forever. Okay, let's start with worst. And it's probably this one. And it's not because anything about the bag, I knew what this bag was, exactly what this bag was when I bought it. I have no regrets about buying it, I am not selling it. I bought this bag as decor. I am eventually getting shelving and storage built into my office upstairs and there's a new room, handbag room being put together off it and I bought this with the sole intention of this bag sitting on the shelving unit. I'm probably going to get some faux flowers to arrange in it and it's going to be a piece of decor. The reason I did that is I absolutely love and have always loved the multicolour collection and specifically for me, I preferred the black or the noir rather than the blanc or the white. I just love it. I am a bright colour person. <laughs> really? Shocker. <laughs> I love bright colours. So the bright colours all over this canvas just, I just love it. I just think it's absolutely stunning. But if we're talking best to worst or worst to best as a handbag, this has to probably be my worst because I will never use it. I will never use it as a handbag. It doesn't have the bandolier. It's the old fashioned speedy, so it's handheld. It's quite big. It's quite heavy. I don't think I would ever carry this bag. I bought it with that intention. But if we're going from worst to best handbags, this probably has to be the worst because it's not that usable. It's not that versatile. It's handheld only. Doesn't have a cross body strap. Quite big, quite heavy, quite boxy. And as a handbag, probably one of my worst, apart from the fact that the multicolor print is so fabulous that I wanted to have it as decor, but that's that's probably the worst. Done one and I'm stuck already. I make them all next joint second, no? Okay, next is this. I can't believe I'm saying this. This was one of my favorite, favorite bags for the longest time. It has the limited edition black and white monogram on the turn lock and on the strap. It's the twist in the PM, which I love. Love the size of the PM, find it very, very usable. Pink on the inside. You can wear the chain crossbody. You can shorten the chain by tucking it in underneath the flap. You can wear it on your shoulder. You can double it up and wear it as a two strap like this, which makes this bag so, so versatile and usable. The only reason, well, I have to choose something next to be next up from the worst. But the only reason I can think about really is that I just don't wear this bag that much anymore. And there, it's nothing to do with the bag. I think it's because when I first bought this bag, I didn't have a huge handbag collection and I wore it all the time. I probably overwore it. I wore it so much. I'm probably a bit fed up looking at it for a while. And that's why I haven't used it in so long because it was so overly used. And that's the only way I can think to put something next as my worst. And this, I still think it's beautiful. I don't mind that it's the Verney leather. Some people don't like Verney leather because it's like patent leather. It's easily marked. You can get color transfer on it. I do have a small bit of color transfer on the back. I don't particularly mind about that. It's really nothing to do with that. It's just because I don't use it that much anymore. And I think that's because of how much I used it when I first bought it. Next worst, <laughs> awful. This is one of my favorite bags is this one. And it's only because it's not that versatile or usable, simply because the light pink leather is so light 
and because this is fabric or jacquard, I think that's what you call it, it would be very easily marked or stained. The hardware is rose gold, which I think is absolutely beautiful. The Petite Mal is one of my favourite bags in my whole collection. It does have a strap that you can wear as a short crossbody or on your shoulder. I tend to carry the Petite Mal handheld more than a crossbody or shoulder bag, if I'm honest. The only reason I can say that this one is my next worst is just because it's a bag you have to be a lot more careful with. That being said, this is one of my favourite bags in my collection to look at. This bag's going nowhere. I absolutely love it, adore it, think that it is stunning. But if we're talking about things that you can use or that are versatile, this probably would be the next up on the worst section because you just do have to be careful with it and you can't take this out on all that many occasions because you're going to mark it and damage it. And I'm somebody who is not scared to use my bags, but I have to be sensible. Spill a drink on this, spill a red wine on this. And I'm crying into that red wine. This is not being repaired. This is light. You, you just need to be careful. Next, ugh, these are paining me. Next is probably the Artie Capucines and it's for no other reason just than usability and versatility, I suppose. I think it's stunning, it's a piece of art and I've said that in so many videos. This is velvet fabric, this is all etched. There is glitter fabric in it, there is stitching on it. The hardware is multicolour and right up my street. This has a strap that you can wear it on the shoulder or crossbody. I do use this. You can see my son's Sonic is actually in it. So I do use it and I do use it with my children. But I suppose next because there's not that oppor many opportunities to use this. Again, it's a bag you have to be careful with. Maybe not just as much as that one because it does have the feet on the bottom. It is bigger, it holds more. Generally carry this handheld, so my options are limited to use it, especially with my children. And probably this is next simply because you do have to be careful with it. Also, this was very expensive. It is a piece of art. So I don't take this out as much as I take any of the other bags out that I throw about. I am definitely more careful with this one. And that's bringing it in next on the worst end of this spectrum. Next is probably this one. And again, this is one of my favourite bags. So this shows you that it's nothing to do with how much I love them. It's absolutely one of my favourite bags. It's just on using them. And this one I'm going to say is next because I probably find it looks better with certain styles of outfits than others. Now you can take the strap off this and you can carry it by this which makes it more usable because you can make it almost like a little handheld clutch. And I have used it like that and I think it's a vibe and I think it's very very funky. Probably it's not higher up the list when it's used like that because it's competing with the Petite Mal, which I'm having an absolute love affair with at the minute and since I bought it. So that's probably why this isn't getting even more use whenever it's used as a uh, clutch like that. I love, I do really like the thick strap against it. I really like the circular style of it. It actually fits an awful lot more than you would think. It's deceptively big. It fits quite a lot. I think it's just because there are certain outfit styles that I think it's fabulous with. There are then other certain outfit styles that I just don't think it works just as well. And that's probably why this one is next. But again, it's one of my favourite bags. I love the shape of it. I love the style of it. I think it's absolutely stunning. But I have to put these into an order somewhere. We're now into the top five and it's... <sighs> these could all be mixed and matched. It's just as hard. This one. Uh, why? Mm. Love the colour. Very, very bright. It's like sunshine in a bag. Love that it's epi leather. I've said before, there's the ASMR. It is so, in my view, strong, durable. There's not a mark on this. I scratch the life out of it and you can't see a thing on it. Same as the other one. Really usable. You can double it up. You can wear it cross body. You can wear it on your shoulder. Look at it against this dress. Look at the colour of it against this dress. I have also worn these handheld almost by just holding the strap or tucking the strap in when I didn't have much else to do to put in it just because I really liked the look of the bag with whatever I was wearing. This one next I'm going to say probably because this one's probably for me limited to 
spring, summer and a bit of autumn. So it's going to be worn during those parts of the year. I wore it a lot this summer because I loved the brightness of it, but coming out of autumn, it's probably gonna go back on the shelf really until we get back into better weather again next year. That's the only reason. I think the twist bag's underrated. I think it's fabulous. I think it's a beautiful bag, but just to pick something that has to come next going, well, it's into the top five of best bags or, or favorite bags now, but yeah, I think this is probably fifth just because the color ties it a bit. Number four going up to the best bags is this one. And if we were going totally on usability and versatility, this would be first because it's so easy to use. It's so lightweight, it's flat to your body. You can fit quite a lot in these two pouches. The strap is really light. I really like the chain. You can take these apart. You can use each pouch by itself. You can use the strap on other things. You can mix and match it. I think this bag, even at the price it is now, is a really usable, good, everyday, throw on bag. I think it's versatile. I really, really enjoy it. The only reason it's not higher up is because it's not my best, most favourite aesthetically. It had to come as high up as this because it's so usable and it gets used so much by me, probably because of my lifestyle with two young boys and four dogs. But there's just ones that I just think are a lot prettier. But this for usability, I can't fault Number it. three of my best bags from Louis Vuitton is this one. And it's simply because I love it that much. I love the color. I love the malachite on the Louis Vuitton inlay. I love the gold around it. I love the gold on this. I love that it has the thick strap. I love the little feet on it. Love the color of this leather. Mini Capucines is one of my favorite bags from Louis Vuitton. If I had lots of money, I would collect all the colors and all the shapes and sizes probably. No, I wouldn't. Small ones, the mini ones, but definitely all the colors and all the textures. But it's not the most friendly bag to be using and that's just being completely honest. And I've had videos on this where I've talked about it before. I've worn this crossbody before. I prefer to use it handheld, but I have used it crossbody and gone out and gone shopping. It's quite Tetrisy inside whenever you are getting your stuff in and out. There is a divider in the middle. You can see here that splits the space into two separate sections. And then there is the little clasp to tuck this into that makes it more awkward to use and I found when I was out that I was getting a bit frustrated at the till when I was paying and trying to put my wallet in and I use small card holder type wallets put that in and my phone in and move things and get the keys out of the way and get what I needed and then people are looking at you and there's a queue going and the till's going and you're putting it in and you're changing it around and it just stressed me out. And I, I do find it if you're using it for that type of occasion where you're gonna be shopping a lot or taking stuff in and out, it's a bit fussy and it's a bit fussy to use. It is much better in my opinion as a lovely little handheld bag that I maybe take out with this dress and I have taken out with this dress out for dinner, out for drinks and when you're not going to be going in and out of it that much, that lowers the stress level and makes it easier to use. But it has to go at number three because it's so pretty, it is just, so, so, so stunning. And it's it's one of my favorite bags in my collection. It's one of the bags I get the most messages about to ask me to sell. I'm not selling it, I love it, but it can be fussy. Number two is sticking with the mini cap you've seen and it's this one. These two interchange. There's times you could ask me which I think is my better or favorite and it'll be the pink one and there's times at this one. I'm just having a moment again where I love this one. When I got the pink, this one had taken a back seat for a while and I'm loving it again and it's the plexiglass. I just think it's cool. Just something about it. I think it's cool, I think it's edgy. I love the little blue inlay in it. It has the same annoyingness on the inside, but this isn't really a bag that I would take out to go shopping with because I have a lot of other bags that would fit the bill for this one if I'm carrying it cross, cross body. So this one really hasn't been giving me enough annoyance as that one because this has really only been used when it's been handheld going out, going out at night. I love it though, it's just, it's one of those bags that when I look at, I still get that warm and fuzzy feeling that you get when you first buy your bags. And it's just, it's one of my absolute, absolute favorites. And it's number two on my best Louis Vuitton bags. One, no question, love this bag. I have said in so many videos, I am shocked at how much I love this bag. When I bought this bag, I always wanted it. I always wanted a petite mal because it's a real classic. I love that it's the little trunk. I love the shape of it. I think it looks really cool and really edgy. But the amount that I use this bag and love this bag has shocked me. I thought when I bought this, I was quite happy in the knowledge that I was buying this and it was probably going to sit on my shelf and not get used that much. But because it was a classic and iconic and the look of it, I was okay with that. And I have been blown away by how much I use it and how much I love it. This, as I say, love affair with this bag. Absolutely adore it. I use this bag so much. Whenever we are going out 
I will look to take this bag and look to use this bag. I would absolutely send me a lottery win and I will buy these in all the colours and collect them in all the colours. I just, I can't put into words how much I love this. So it's definitely number one of my best bags. Nothing to do with usability. Nothing to do with versatility, although for going out at night, very usable and versatile for me because I don't carry a huge amount. But let's be honest, it is all to do with how much I love it. It's all to do with what the look of it. It's all to do with how much use I get out of it. It's all to do with how much it, I want to use it. I look to use it, how it makes me feel when I carry this bag. When I carry this bag, I feel fabulous. And that's not a feeling that I don't, I mind having. It's it's wonderful, it's just, it's wonderful. I love this bag, I can't say enough good things about it and it is number one in my best Louis Vuitton bags. So that was my entire Louis Vuitton handbag collection with a few added extras that I think fit in and were lovely and I wanted to show you. And like the niece Minnie and the niece Nano are used as handbags and I just, I thought there were things I would share. So is the mini pochette. Thank you so much for watching me. Just check out again. I want to show you these. I just love them. I just love this company so, so, so much. If you are interested in any of Ideal's pieces, I will link them down below in the description box. I've been wearing these for months. They're tried and tested by me. If you're interested in them at all, check out their website. Do use the discount code so as you get your discount. Check out through the link down below and it will show you the pieces that I have been wearing and the pieces I already have and wear a lot. I will put the list in the description box for you so as you can see all the pieces that I have chosen and I will put a little star beside the ones that I use the most. There is, before I got these, there's the Lucia Cuff which comes out like this behind your ear. I wore that almost daily and then there's another live piece I think it's called that sits in your ear and I would have worn them as a mix match and I just love the vibe of it I love the look of it so I will leave the list of those down in the description box for you if you do want to check any of them out if you are looking at presents or whatever definitely check them out they are fab thank you so much for watching me thank you for being here please take care and I will see you again in the next one